David Navarro scored a beautiful win against Natalia Buxa. He joins us in our studio and breaks it down for us. David, an interesting and an instructive win with the white pieces today. Are you pleased with the way you played? Uh, yes, uh, I think it was not an easy game because Natalia played the opening quite well and the position was equal. But at this position, I don't like uh, the move A6 that much because I think Black should take some measures against d5, which is threatening. So your idea is to go d5, and you feel until now Natalia had played reasonably? Yes, I think the position is equal. But I don't know what to do with Black now, because after knight f6, there is d5 anyway, and now either e5, knight d4 as in the game, or perhaps bishop e5, when a queen a8 is too risky for many reasons, starting with rook c7 and also including some knight d4, knight f5 uh, maneuver. David, this idea of d5 is quite a thematic and a nice idea, but you just give up a pawn. Can you explain to our viewers the, uh, the rationale behind giving up this pawn? Okay, I have a nice pawn center, but it can also become weak. And uh, to make it uh, matter, I have to do something and uh, I cannot do anything on the queen side. I would like to attack black's king, but to do that I need to sacrifice a pawn. And open your bishop on b2? Yes, I open my bishop and now I played e5. Because if white takes, there's queen d6, for example, when the bishop on h3 is misplaced. And of course this is not your idea to play d5 to go into this position. Yes, I played e5, threatening e6 and m maybe it's... Uh, Probably it's not bad for black yet, but uh, it's very hard to defend such a position. After knight f8, I can also play e6 when f6 is hard for black. And after fe6, white is probably winning by force, playing knight e5. Let me help you. Yeah, thank you. Knight f7. I do not just get stuck sometimes. And queen takes e6. Yes threatening a smothered mate, <laughs> among other things. And uh, okay, knight c5 looks logical, but uh, maybe rook e8 was not the best move, but I don't know what to recommend here because it's really hard. I really like this move knight d4 because maybe black actually wants to give this pawn back with d4 to act activate the bishop on b7 and you just kill this bishop with this pawn sacrifice and then knight d4. Yes, maybe, but I'm also preparing e6, e6. Uh, as well as knight e5, uh, f5, so it's a typical multi-purpose move. Yes. And now, uh, Rook e8 is probably not optimal, but it's hard to suggest anything else. e6. Now if black takes like this, I can take just... with the bishop when there are King and... seven deadly chess pins, <laughs> as Grandmaster Rausen would have uh, probably <laughs> formulated it. I'm starting queen f7, knight f5. And seven so deadly chess pins. <laughs> yes. I love it. So it's, uh, it's after the book, Seven Deadly Chess Pins. Is yes. that one of your favorite books? Because a lot of players uh, talk very highly of this book. Uh, I read it uh, and liked enjoy? it. Uh, I mean, back then I was already a strong GM, so it has not influenced me that fundamentally, uh, maybe also because I read it several times, uh, several, uh, not several times, several years after it had appeared. But uh, it's a quite a good move, uh, quite a good book, sorry. I'm thinking about <laughs> moves already. And now White has a decisive attack. Here. Yes. Bishop f5 after g6, I'm ready to take. So uh, if something like this, you just. Yes, and I have knight f5. In the end. Yes. And Yes. That's just one deadly pin, but it's more than yes. enough. Yes, and h6, queen g6. In fact, there were some nice lines in the end. Now I even considered playing for uh, uh, playing for crowds like this, but <laughs> luckily I avoided Let this temptation because it doesn't you. really work. Because here... Maybe even queen d6, queen f8 is not that bad, but uh, I dislike bishop c6 because if black just takes, there will be numerous threats, yes. including queen f8. But the problem is that if black plays bishop c6, uh, I don't know what to do now. 
black can block the E file if needed in some lines. I mean, if I give two checks, it's not that terrible. So, okay. You mean with 94 in the end? Yes, yes, right. probably, or even can take D6 in some lines. Yes. Yes, but uh, I mean... Uh, There's no need to play like yes, that in yes, this position. Yes, exactly. Uh, this is you good. Can and, uh, yeah, thank you. Yeah. And uh, now I expected knight rook e5, after which white can either play prosaic move f4 and then knight f5 was made as in the game. Because of queen h8, so yes. something like this just runs into Yes. Or there is a nicer solution, knight f5 immediately, and now an accurate move, rook c1. Yes. This is really nice because it reminds me of the concept of the kill zone. So you just yes. trap the king and there is no defending yeah. against mate. Yes, because and if knight e4? after knight e4 there is a check and uh, yes. then there will be mate on h8 if black moves her bishop or her knight. That's a very pretty finish. Yes, and there is even there is an even prettier line with the rook e5, and now knight e4, and now just there knight. is mate in three actually. So here you just yes, and oh, and queen e8 in the yes, end. Yes, exactly. <laughs> That is, that's absolutely stunning. And in the game also, rook e4, just knight f5 finishes the game because there's no defense against queen h8. Yes. Actually, Natalia has been having quite a good tournament so far. Did you see her games before? Uh, yes. Uh, I saw she bet uh, Noel Studer yes. in the previous round in uh, Sveshnikov uh, variation. Uh, and, uh, okay, uh, there are uh, six rounds left, so she might uh, improve her result after this loss. I mean, one loss doesn't matter that of much course. in a long tournament. Yes, and uh, but you are now on three out of four. Mm -hmm. Feeling good after today's game? Yes. All right, well, we wish you all the best. Thank you for joining Thank us. You. Thank you for your time, David. Thank you for your attention. Uh, see you later. Thank you. See you, David.